Hi everyone, this is Ian Robinson and welcome to another episode of Ask ZBrush. Today we're going to cover a question that came in, how can I restore the default hotkeys in ZBrush? So in today's video, we're going to be covering how to restore your custom hotkeys to the default hotkeys that ship with ZBrush. So first, let's go ahead and create a custom hotkey and then let me show you how you can go ahead and store that properly. So I'm going to create a hotkey in this demonstration that's going to hide the right hand side tray so that I actually have more room in my viewport. So we're going to go on up to macro and down here there is a button called right tray. And if I press and hold alt and control and tap the left mouse button, at the top left hand corner of ZBrush, we're displayed a message asking us to type in a combination of buttons to create a hotkey. For this, I'm just going to use the key K, and now my hotkey has been created. So anytime I press K, you can see here that the right hand tray hides, and if I press it again, it opens it up, just giving me more view space for my creative process. Now that my custom hotkey has been created, I would like to go ahead and store that so that I can use it every time I open up ZBrush. So we're going to go ahead and go up to Preferences, Hotkeys, and then we're going to go to Store. And when I go ahead and click Store, what we're going to get is a message that says Current Hotkeys Files has been saved successfully and will be restored every time we start ZBrush. So let's go ahead and hit OK, and now we've successfully stored our hotkeys in ZBrush. Now that we've gone over how to create custom hotkeys and store them within ZBrush, let's go over how we can reset our hotkeys to the default settings that ships with ZBrush. Before we continue going over how to get our default hotkeys that ships with ZBrush back, I would like to make note of one thing. When you go up to Preferences and under Hotkeys, we click Store. The reason why you want to click Store in saving your hotkeys is because it creates a new text document and stores it in a different location instead of writing over the original. So if you would like to get the original back, then all we need to do is go to Load and let's actually go to our local disk file, Program Files, and we're going to scroll on down under to Max on ZBrush 2022. We're going to go down to Z Startup and go to Hotkeys. This is actually where your default hotkeys list resides. So we're going to go ahead and click this and say Open. And now that went ahead and reset everything back to its original settings. The other way to get the default hotkeys back in ZBrush is actually to go to the website that will take you to our keyboard shortcuts. And what's really neat about this website is not only can you go ahead and get the default hotkey file back, but we also have a cheat sheet that you can download in case you would like to see what all of the hotkeys that are listed in ZBrush. So let's go ahead and click the default hotkeys file and then come on down. And as you can see here, we have a text file for Windows and also for Macintosh. From here, we can create a new hotkeys text file that then we can load to get all that back in ZBrush. So let's go ahead and hit copy. We're just going to go ahead and open up a blank notepad. So let's go ahead and open that. And then Control V or right click and paste. From here, we're going to go to File, Save As. And I'm just going to save in our desktop folder. So we'll say hotkeys underscore default and say save. So now let's go back into ZBrush, go to Preferences, and under Hotkeys, we're going to click Load. From here, we're going to go to our desktop and scroll down until we see our Hotkeys default text file. We're going to click on that and say Open. And then we're going to go back up and click Store. And now we've saved all of the default Hotkeys back into ZBrush. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to hit the like button, and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified each time we upload a video. And please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!